a big game is right around the corner and today I'm going to show you just how simple it is to smoke this pork butt and turn it into these incredible pulled pork grilled cheese sandwiches that'll be a hit at any party you throw. Get you a 10 to 12 pound pork butt, pat it dry, and score the fat cap. I'm using mustard as a binder and rubbing it all over the meat. Season up all sides of the meat with your favorite pork rub. I'm cooking this low and slow, so I filled my smoker full of these pecan Bear Mountain barbecue pellets to infuse some bold, smoky flavor into this pork butt. I've got the smoker set to 200 degrees, and I'm placing my pork butt on fat side down for the night. Sleep tight, little one. After about 10 hours on the grill, I'm pulling the butt, adding it to a foil pan along with a cup of apple juice and tightly sealing it in foil. I bumped the heat to 250 and let it cook until it reached an internal temperature of 205. I pulled it off and popped it in the oven to rest for an hour. All you have to do is pull this beautiful butt and let's turn it into an epic pulled pork grilled cheese sandwich. Lay down two slices of sourdough bread, grab you some mayo, and slather some mayonnaise all over the outside of your bread. Add some butter into a skillet and lay down your bread. Add some fresh grated Gouda cheese, a heaping pile of your pulled pork, a little bit of barbecue sauce, some sharp cheddar cheese, and your other slice of bread. Toast it up on both sides and just listen to that tasty goodness. Get ready to tackle your hunger with this incredible pulled pork grilled cheese sandwich. This sandwich is sure to score you a touchdown in Flavortown.